While lots of people hoping to be president are passing through Arizona, the very first Air Force One was getting a send-off at Marana Airport. This Lockheed Constellation was the first of three planes that carried Dwight Eisenhower as president. It was about to be broken up for parts when the owners learned of its history. Now, after several years sitting in Marana, it's nearly ready to fly again. Kega 9 on your sides, Craig Smith was in Marana for a special celebration. This Lockheed Constellation was one of the most beautiful planes of its time. This is how it looked when K-Gun cameras caught it flying into Ryan Airfield 16 years ago. By that time, it had been saved from scrap once already. After an historian told the owners the plane they bought from the boneyard for spare parts was the first Air Force One. But after years in the air show circuit, it spent more than 10 years stored at Marana Airport with doubts it would ever fly again. Now, with a new owner, it is nearly ready to fly. Mary Eisenhower is President Eisenhower's granddaughter. She remembers flying on this plane as a little girl. As an adult, she appreciates its place in history. It carried him to Korea when he uh, agreed as president-elect to, to go and negotiate an armistice with, in Korea, and the plane carried him there. So, uh, to me, it's she's kind of a silent witness. You know. Here is how the plane came to be the first to be called Air Force One. Its usual radio call sign was the tail number, Air Force 8610. One day, President Eisenhower and this plane were in the same airspace as Eastern Airlines 8610. An air traffic controller confused the two. To avoid that kind of dangerous mix-up, the presidential plane was Air Force One from then on. You look at this plane and you think, well, that doesn't look like an Air Force One. Well, this is how the plane looked at the time it flew President Eisenhower. Pretty much standard setup for an Air Force executive transport. That distinctive blue color scheme that's so familiar now did not come in until the time of President Kennedy. A company called Boneyard Safari caught this test. Listen to the distinctive sound only a large prop plane can make. Soon the plane will be ready to fly to Virginia, where it will be restored inside and out to look as it did and fly like a plane fit for a president. In Marana, Craig Smith, KGON 9, your side.